How do you have fun in Islam? How do you have fun in our religion? The first principle, brothers and sisters, to know is that not only is it permissible to have fun, but it is wajib to have fun. It is wajib to have a good time. You are compelled to have leisure in your life. Because your leisure, when you do it, and you do it with the right intentions, Allah Azza wa Jal rewards you for it. An example of this is the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam himself. I mean, he used to uh, wrestle with Ali radiallahu an. He used to wrestle with Umar radiallahu an. And you know that these two individuals, they were so strong and so courageous and so powerful, but none of them could compete with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Every time they wrestled, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would pin them to the ground. And then you have Aisha radiallahu anha. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to hold her hand and say, okay, are you ready, set, go. And they would race one another in a private garden that they have for each other. So clearly it shows that leisure is a part of our religion. And there's even a narration that the Prophet ﷺ would sit with Aisha in the masjid. What is he doing? He's just talking. They're just sitting and chilling out. They're having a good time. They're just talking about their day. So clearly it shows that leisure, it's a part of our deen. It's a part of who we are. It's a part of our religion. And so every single Muslim, let alone human being, you must have leisure as a part of your, your lifestyle. The problem is, is you just need to be constructive. You need to find something that's beneficial behind it. If I ask this question to all of you, what was the last thing that you did for fun? Some of us may say, well, the last thing that I did is I played Mario on the Wii or something, right? Or you, you, know, you played a video game, or you went out to eat at a restaurant. Like these are some of the things that generally speaking, a lot of us may find that this is our leisure, this is our enjoyment. I don't know personally how that is enjoyment. I don't know the, the wisdom behind it. What I can tell you is true enjoyment from the sunnah is what you do when it comes, is how you interact with your brothers and sisters. So playing basketball with each other, finding a sport, going for a walk, going for a jog or a run or something. Coming together and interacting and doing something together as a community is the true leisure that Islam advocates, that Islam supports. And we get that wisdom from the Prophet ﷺ himself. His enjoyment was to wrestle with the other companions. And this was his enjoyment, so he interacted with everyone. What does that do? I guarantee you, inshallah, if you build a relationship like this, I guarantee you that two things will happen at least, inshallah. Number one, you're going to love the people that you play that sport with or you go out with and you climb a mountain or do an activity together. You're going to find that your love for that person is going to increase. How? Allahu A'lam. It's just one of those things that it's just the miracle of Allah Azza wa Jal. That if you do things together, Allah just puts love and embracement in the hearts of those individuals. Or the second thing will happen. That if this was the last time that you two see each other, so especially for the youth, you know all of your basketball buddies and your football buddies or, or soccer buddies that you have, that you go out to the masjid and you go out to the community center and you play ball with these guys? These are the people, hold on to those relationships because it's going to be the basketball that's going to bring you together when you're 50 years old or 60 years old and you have your four or five children. It's going to be the basketball that's going to reunite you guys. It's going to be those times that you spent with each other doing something together as a community is what's going to reunite you guys.